Celebrity whiskeys. Are they all good? No. 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 Are they all gimmicks? Well, depends on who you ask, but are they all bad? Luckily not. That's right. We got as many as we could get our hands on and we have ranked them for you from worst to best. It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And if you're new to the channel, we do things like this and uncorkings and blind flight fights and all that. So if you're in, hit subscribe. It's actually a, a weird number of people who watch this channel that aren't subscribed. Well, it's weird. It is a little strange. Come on over. Like, why are you being a stranger? Don't be a stranger. Come say hi. <laughs> the water's fine. Uh, so, Sarah, how did we go about uh, this real quick? Well, similarly to how we do our best of the year rankings, we got, gathered all 13 that we could get our hands on, as Lucky you said, uh, from celebrities, and we blind tasted them, scored them out of 100, and then ranked those cumulatively between ourselves. There we go. Okay. And this is also, we should say, American whiskey. So, if your favorite celebrity isn't in there, maybe... Or if your favorite celebrity does a tequila, it's not its tequila night. <laughs> right, right, right. It could right. be tequila yeah. night. Now, we just heard, actually, the Guar will be releasing uh, a whiskey, but... Uh, so we may have to revise this in the future. <laughs> we don't have that yet. So, like we said, lucky 13, but we're only really going to talk about the top 10. So let's just quickly blow through those bottom three, starting with, sorry, Bob Dylan, Heaven's, Heaven's Door. Door. At number 12, we have Virginia Black, Brett Hawking and Drake. Sorry, it's just not our jam. Number 11 is Wolf Moon Bourbon, a 80 proof offering from Jason Aldean and Florida Georgia Line. It just didn't cut it for us. Yep. At least it was only 30 bucks. There's that. At number 10, we have number nine. What? It's a 90 proofer and it comes from the band Slipknot and Cedar Ridge Distillery, both Iowa natives. Sean, AKA or better known as Clown, the percussionist from the band was involved in the blending of this, and it's actually a blend of bourbon and rye. To be fair, it is only $40, but I did still find it a little bit astringent. Gave me a lot of like lighter notes, a little underdeveloped, like some honey and melon and like a little grassy. And very sweet. Very sweet very and sweet. like like it just needs more time. It needs more development. Agreed. At number nine, and no, not the number nine whiskey. Actually, number nine is Terry Bradshaw, or I'm sorry, Bradshaw bourbon, but the celebrity From attached is Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> yeah, we're not trying to make this confusing at all. So this is his collaboration with Ozzy Tyler, now Green River Distilling. It's 70% uh, corn, 21% rye, 9% malted barley. Um, You know, it ha didn't do the worst. <laughs> like, honestly, no? towards the middle of the pack, we start to see a lot of improvement in these. Sure. Um, sure. Well, the, the thing that I kind of, where this one can go towards gimmick is they pick the proof based on his career completion percentage. Okay. So, yeah, 51.9%, which is 103.8 proof. You know, I think a bourbon should be at the proof that it's supposed to be because that's how it tastes the best. I did get like a lot of uh, like syrupy, sweet, I said peach ring on the nose, yeah. Uh, Fruit Loops, like slightly floral. I think again, just like a l that youthfulness coming fr through in those like super yeah. sweet fruity flavors. I also said uh, corn syrup, a little ripe bananas, and I said corny uh, on the back end, meaning young. I think over time it could have potential. Maybe. At number eight, we have Long Branch. Now, this is the Wild Turkey collaboration with Matthew McConaughey. It is eight years old, mm -hmm. so that is good. 86 proof, but it does have that mesquite charcoal. Well, yeah, that's their whole thing. Like, this is mellowed over Texas mesquite uh, charcoal. And, you know, as we said when we uncorked this years ago, this isn't It's made. not all right, all right, all right. <laughs> it's not made for us. I think, you know, the, the proof and... Wild Turkey for us starts at 101 proof and uh, kind of goes up from there. So this, I hate to put Wild Turkey so low, but it I just know. it just wasn't for us. But I will oh. say, you know, in its defense, again, at $40, nice to see the eight years. Nice to see them pushing the boundaries, I guess, um, if you're into that. We mm -hmm. do see a lot of people on that video that we made saying like, I like Long Branch, you guys yeah. are crazy. And so I do think that this has an audience. Self-admittedly, we're not it. Not us. Um, but it still did make it up to number number eight of 13. Number so. eight at least. At number seven is number nine, Reserve. Back to Cedar Ridge and Slipknot. This goes up to 99 proof and it gets the four year minimum of the barrels. 
Uh, so that's that's something. That is, but it's seventy dollars MSRP, which I feel like ooh for the four years. You know, mm -hmm. I get it. I get the the like newer distilleries that are cropping up, especially with the celebrity endorsement or that collaboration. You know, it does warrant that. And some people who are fans will pay that. I don't know. It's kind of well, tough to argue it. It doesn't matter when it's blind. One, you don't know the price, and two, you don't know the affiliation. That's so that's true. why we love doing things blind. So, uh, you know, if we had a, a dog in this fight. We didn't know where it was because we did everything blind. This is a 60% bourbon, 40% rye combination. Good Ultimately, rye. the taste, some lemon smells low, some corn that was on the nose. For the taste, I said low proof and sweet, uh, a little bitter apple peel. And yeah, I said something similar. You know, I felt like this was kind of like being at the beach. I got like mango, maraschino cherries, coconut, and sunscreen, and I was like, Wow, that is, uh, and again, I think that that fruitiness and that like tropical E vibe is kind of coming from that four year. There you go. At number six, it's Sweetens Cove. And this is a collaboration between Peyton Manning, Andy Roddick, and Jim Nance. 101.4 proof, like to see that. 13 years old, again, yay. Um, but it is sourced and it is widely rumored to be from Dickel, George uh, Dickel, which is actually in my blind tasting. The first thing I wrote down was Dickel, um, which I will just say upfront is not my thing. Not and our flavor profile. It's not my flavor profile. I've yep. admitted this in many videos, but I do think that they treated it very nicely. Like I think that they did a good job with it. Yeah. I just still can't get past that for me. And at two hundred dollars MSRP, yeah, we should also say that this is our most expensive most one expensive here bottle. on the list. But I do feel like number six is taking a turn because my first note was, "Hey, not bad." But when you're saying, "Hey, not bad," and it's the two hundred dollars MSRP, of course you don't know that at the time, but right? Yeah. But that's when you consider mm -hmm. those things all together. Is I think when we get in a little bit of a stickier situation with those. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look at my notes. Other than Dickel, I said orange zest, toasted almond, light brown sugar, and honeysuckle on the nose, with apricot orange marmalade and I said stale graham crackers on the palate, which is again, I think coming from the Dickel uh, and some dry nuts and firewood on the finish. Uh, after I said, hey, not bad. I said toasty, think it's Dickel, slightly nutty, rich brown <laughs> sugar. Then on the taste, I said little kick dies quickly though. Uh, cocktail taste finish, boiled peanuts, caramel sugar, like a pie topping, uh, baked graham cracker cut crust. Well, I With was the writing a book on that one. I know, I heard it. Better than a lot of the others. Better than uh, seven through 13. So there you go. All right, it's home stretch time, but uh, before we get into the top five, I wanna take a little pause and tell you about our home on the internet is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get our Glen Karens t-shirts, uh, water glasses, copitas, rocks glasses, sweatshirts, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. We do patron only after the episodes, uh, exclusive podcasts, first crack at events, barrel picks, and more. All right, and now on to number five. Well, all right, Bob Dylan, here's a little bit of- You can't be too uh, mad at us. Yeah, a little bit of a comeback here. At number five is Heaven's Door 10 year. So this is uh, sourced, we know it's from Tennessee, but undisclosed location in Tennessee. But listen to this, um, it is mellowed using charcoal columns made from Tennessee sugar maple trees better known as a Lincoln County process, anybody? This is also one of our higher priced ones at $130 MSRP. But you get this page of lyrics with it. There you go. If you're into that. But let's talk about the whiskey itself. But it is 100 proof, so that's good on the proof, and it's a minimum of 10 years. There might even be a little bit older barrels um, blended in here. But let's talk about the taste. On the nose, I said nutty, dull. Barbecue, little spam. I'm sorry, Bob Dylan. Uh, for the taste, I said dickle. Uh, little tea and light honey and nutty. Yeah, I agree. I said like a nutty buttered shortbread and salt on the nose with the burnt orange and slightly earthy on the palate, pepper orange and slightly bitter on the finish, so. So yeah, so you know, right there at number five, but at $130. <laughs> well, I wanna see what's at number four. Let's let's find out. At number four, we have three cord blended bourbon. Oh, Chad's gonna break into it. First one that I you know. uh this shockingly for us is at 81 proof and it made it to number four. <laughs> 
wow, that is hard for me to believe. But hey, I think that says something about it. So um, as we said, this is blended. It is sourced from Kentucky and Indiana and Tennessee. Mm -hmm. um, it's not age stated, but there's, they said that there's up to 12 year in there. So I think maybe that's making up for us for that 81 proof. Yeah, it also utilizes a secondary controlled uh, wood charring process and tonal vibrations. Now they don't, they don't go into a whole lot of information about what that is, but it kind of uh, agitates. Sh it, it shares something with a uh, higher uh, one here on Ooh. our list here. In no a, spoilers. In a second, no spoilers. The celebrity um, connection with this one is Neil Gerardo, who is a professional musician, producer, and film composer, but he might unfortunately be better known as a guitarist and husband of Pat Benatar, but that's what makes it, uh, I feel like this one's like That's a, what makes it celebrity? It's, it's a loose, it's a loose connection, but he is still a celebrity, so. It's true, that's, more famous than me, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> if you're more famous than us, oh. you deserve to be on the is that how, Was that our threshold for the know, episode? Right. Yeah, basically if you make, a, you had to make a whiskey first right, too. Right, right. For this one, I got a lot of dark cherry on the nose and same thing on the palate with a hint of clove, a little bit dry with some cinnamon and pepper and not that long of a finish, but that makes sense for the 81. For proof. the 81. I got your dark cherry, uh, savory, salty, but a uh, little cherry slushy. I said ro low proof um, and a little bit like watered down tea. But again, that's just that 81 proof. It but would, yeah. I think at least the age of some of the barrels that they blended in here is definitely shining. Are through. showing are showing themselves. Yeah. At number three is blackened at 90 proof. This is another marriage of bourbon and rye, just like we had uh, with the with the others and, there in the in the Slipknot. And yet another under 100 proof breaking into the top five. Chad. That's right. That's right. Now say what you will about their sonic agitation because this or does tonal have vibration uh, this does have playlists of metallica blasted at them uh say what you will about it it does have the late great master distiller dave pickerel behind it and you gotta respect uh anything that he puts his name on and obviously it did number three blind for us here um, on our list do you think it tastes better because it's more cultured chad more cultured <laughs> listen to more music <laughs> <laughs> well what did we say about it i said some lemon and apricot on the nose with just a hint of grassiness. Again, more apricot and a really good mouthfeel on the palate with a dry uh, finish with a little bit of barrel influence and mm. some lingering spice. Okay, yeah, I said a little spice, lemon zest, light cinnamon on the nose. I said for the taste, lemon pepper, uh, sweet corn, and a, and a little dry, but overall enjoyable. Yes. Uh, this one I think comes in around $50, if uh, I'm remembering $50 correctly. But just like our number nine versus Blackened episode, which you can go watch, we do number nine, number nine reserve, and Blackened, we picked Blackened. And it's good to see in Blind that we support those findings as well. Yes. Good job, well, us. Well, it's always good to have pat that reassurance. The, pat yeah, on the back. That I, I'm not tricking myself, so. <laughs> All right, down to the top two. Here we go. At number two, we have 12 Bar Reserve. Yeah, back to Neil Gerardo and, yeah. and Three Chord. Way to go, Pat Benatar's husband. You broke the top two. Oh my gosh. No, this is 107 proof. It is barrel proof though, so that's gonna vary uh, per bottle, but there's no water added. No water and it's added. a 12 year age stated. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense to me, like all signs point to yes as to why this ended up at the number two spot. Now, let's talk about their perfectly tuned taste that they use. Ah, you're talking about the pyrolysis. No, nope. pyrolysis. Pyrolysis process, Sarah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so they're heating the oak to release certain flavors and aromas. And I guess it's working um, because this tastes great. I thought, uh, I said the best so far with the carrot cake, cinnamon, orange zest, and a faint honey taste. Um, and some spicy, zesty, toasty cinnamon sugar. Okay. On the finish. Okay. Um, I don't know if we said, but this comes from Indiana and Tennessee. Uh, and keeping on my potential George Dickel meter, I, I, I said maybe a little Dickel. Well, good job there. But I also said Sweetens Cove. Nope. Sorry, Chad. You're wrong there. You wrong. But I said uh, little cherry, warm rum ish, as rum -ish. in rum. Rum ish. Rum ham. <laughs> rum ham. Pop, syrup. Cinnamon, uh, red hots, nutty peach walnuts. Wow, you had a lot to say about this one. Interesting. Which makes sense because, like yeah. I said, it was the. I recognize that it was my favorite one so far in doing the blind tasting, and I think it, it rightfully deserves that. Yeah, this is a, a high corn mash bill. It's an 84% uh, corn with eight rye and eight malted barley. Which on paper may, doesn't seem like something I would gravitate to. Right. But I think that's what's giving me all those like cakey, 
you know, deliciousness. It just reminded me of a carrot cake. Yeah. Okay, well, it's that time, folks. Time Shall we? for, in our opinion anyway, the best celebrity whiskey. At number one again on the charts, it's Three Chord with Whiskey Drummer. Hi. <laughs> I'm Chad Perkins. Wow, I hated that uh, okay. so much. Yeah, so much. You ruined it. <laughs> uh, so the top four have been filled with uh, with three chord, and of course wow. the top one goes to the highest proof and also the highest cost. Not the highest cost on this list. This one is $190 MSRP, so that Ooh, would come in shy. at number two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one is uh, non-chill filtered and 15 year old 117 proof from Three Chord. Another hit from Three Chord. Another hit, yeah. Way to go, Pat Benatar's husband. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. Yeah, but it's uh, two small batches of this were made of 10 barrels, each producing about 2,500 bottles each. So it is a limited. Uh, that yeah. does add to, of course, the price, but also the 15 year age um, statement. Now, I don't think we said this about number two, but that the second place, uh, the 12 core, or I'm sorry, 12 bar reserve was a $75 MSRP. Oh, that's right. So when you consider the difference between one and two, and this being that 190, I think if you're wanting to get up to this, like maybe you start with that one. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is all just our opinions, but let's talk about our other opinions, which is taste. Sure, well, on the nose, I said toasted fruits, fruit cake. Uh, oh, I got poetic with this one again, Sarah. I said shea butter, almond butter, black pepper. Then on the taste, I said toasted pepper uh, and a little clove slight nut, buttery texture and mouthfeel, chocolate and almond butter finish, long finish, and the barrel. Very nice. Um, this one, strangely on the nose, reminded me of um, warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works, if anyone's familiar. Not in a bad way, in a nice way. It's like the best thing that they have, in my opinion. And I said like oaky and savory with some cream cheese frosting on the nose, maybe a little tropical. And on the palate, I said full of spice and character, zesty and tropical, good char slash barrel influence, and maybe grilled pineapple, question mark? I think that was kind of falling into that whole tropical vibe. Um, with a medium long finish, very rich and a nice hug. There we go. I liked it. Yeah, it and was- I would like some right now. It was by far the best. Uh, our average score on this one, uh, we'll tell you this one, the others, we <laughs> some of them we shan't mention. We shan't. But uh, this one got an average score between the two of us of 90.75 out of 100. I mean, this was our only one in the 90s. It's true, it was the only one in the 90s. I mean, just talking about scoring this really quickly, I tried to keep, as we mentioned in the beginning, the same mindset of if I'm scoring everything on a scale of 100 and I'm using that same scale for our best of the years, I wanna keep that same Agreed. scoring energy Agreed. for all of these, which is why some of them did not do well at all. <laughs> yes. yes. I have never scored a thing so <laughs> We're nice people, so we won't tell you what that's going to We won't. Um, okay, we've rattled on long enough about celebrities. Uh, the paparazzi are coming soon to take our picture, I would imagine. No, uh, please they're, don't. They're not. They're, no, I, I, oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. I, cu I just I, couldn't. I just couldn't. Uh, but we do want to say, again, if you have not subscribed to us, uh, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more. Bourbon doesn't Maybe have not to. Celebrity. Doesn't have to be celebrity. Yeah.